Well, hey neighbors, welcome to the shed shop. We're gonna get right to work on this one. Uh, I have on my bench a Husqvarna 338 uh, XPT top handle chainsaw. Uh, it's for neighbor Kerry. He's a local neighbor, uh, very close by. And he brought me a, a slew of saws last year. Uh, we're in June now. And this was uh, November of last year, I think. He brought me a slew of saws. He had a 570, but all his saws essentially, uh, except a couple had scored top ends. And uh, this 338 was one of the saws that we agreed I would uh, give my labor uh, in trade for some of his stuff that he traded in. I, I haven't made a penny on any of his stuff. That one right there is a 346. I've got a piston for it, but there's transfer. And I was thinking I was going to remove some transfer off that piston to show you guys that it can be done and the saw can be perfectly good. Uh, especially that one's got such a small amount and the way it is when you have sludgy transfer uh, your your cylinder has almost never ever ever suffered even the slightest bit of wear uh, you can remove that transfer without taking any wear off your cylinder anyways uh, moving on that's where the 570 to 575 came from it was neighbor carries I cannot recollect I had looked at this saw a while back and I said neighbor carry this saw is gonna take a lot of work it needs a lot of parts and the bill's going to be higher than what we had thought. Do you want to proceed? And essentially, um, because of busy lives, we were not able to communicate properly. Um, there's a little bit of a story with the saw, but not much. And so, but it's 420 in the morning on Sunday. I've just done Rob Weaver, subscriber Rob Weaver's 028 teardown. And I feel like I, I feel like this saw had a scored motor, but I can't remember. I've got a bag of some parts that have been hanging from it. It's got a cracked plastic case, but they, they essentially I, I had said they just want it functional. Um, and so if it does have a scored motor, I've been trying to find a good cheap donor saw for this thing for a while that could potentially have a good motor on it. And I've, I mean months and I've not seen one pop up on the market. I've not done heavy researching, but I have looked and I've not found one that I was comfortable buying. And so we're going to find out right now. We're going to start tearing this all down, and no matter what it needs, we're going to go ahead and tear it down. We're just going to take it apart uh, and start disassembling it. And essentially, um, yeah, I can't find none of my damn markers, and I'm going to need one for this one because I don't know this saw, and I don't have an organizer left. Well, we'll see. We'll try and keep the parts or this hardware with the parts and bag it after the video. But essentially, that being said, I'm tired of sale. I'm in excruciating pain. And uh, after this, I want to go in and shower and bring you Rob Weaver's 028 footage because that's the only footage on his saw you're getting until it's completely done and delivered to him out in Idaho, okay, uh, when he opens his box from UPS, most likely UPS. Uh, and I know he has received his saw. We'll let you know what the hell happens. Uh, but I'll flood you with all of the footage I take on his saw, whatever I do get to take, however much I do get to take. All at once after that video it might be a couple months before y'all get the footage but when he gets a saw you get the rest of the story uh and i'm going to tell you all about him and his granddaddy and and different things uh with subscriber rob weaver so with that uh i'm gonna turn you down to the bench and we're gonna get to work dim it because i want to bring you that footage neighbors and i got tons over 140 something videos right now that need to be edited and brought to you and that's months of footage months of different footage that's not been brought to you yet uh, some old, some recent. And so let's get to work so we can try and keep getting caught up. Uh, don't worry, I still got your uh, 017170 giveaway. We're waiting on another Chinese top end for the Husqvarna 240 uh, giveaway. And as soon as that top end comes, that giveaway, I'm going to get right on that for you guys because you've been so patient. The 017, I'm sorry. Uh, my first 255 subscribers, you're 100% already anybody that was in the first 255 that subscribed. And has done any activity on the channel, you've already uh, you've already qualified, and literally that would just be at some point as soon as I get to it. One of you's just gonna win that shit. Period. Plain and simple. And as long as you claim it, it's yours. You'll have seven days on that one. Thirty days on the two forty seven on the 017. So let's get to work, neighbors. And those giveaways will come to you. I promise. Thanks for persevering with me. It, the channel grew way faster than I anticipated, and so I did myself dirty and did you dirty by saying I'm giving all that shit away. Uh, and not being able to get to it in time because I'm so busy because you neighbors love me so damn much to let me tinker on your chit and my chit and everybody else's chit. I know I look tired, Rob Weaver. <laughs> You're right because I'm exhausted, neighbor. I just can't sleep. Anyways, let's get to work, damn it, neighbors. Should I edit that chit out? Chit, if it goes smoothly. Oh, chit, neighbors, did you see that? I'll have to edit that out. There's his name. He probably doesn't give a chit. 
Everybody in town knows who the hell he is. Because his family grew up here. And his name's known around here. Just like all my local neighbors on my street. I don't think they care about their names being known. Okay, I think these are going to be a four mils. Should we find out? I think I have a four mil right here. Somewhere. I thought I did. Damn. I think this is it. That's it. I bought a bunch of new bits and stuff and I can't find them. Damn it. Three inch bits. Anyways. It's also can be a flathead, but I like the four mil better. So I'm going to put it in this little 90 degree DeWalt. Put that in my drill. Zoom you guys out because this isn't super educational. I don't know this all the time. I just thought I'd take the footage to find out what's going on with it and tell you a little bit about Kerry um, and his father-in-law. Uh, his father-in-law, Dan, I met him. They came over together and were like, well, what's going on with this saw? Damn, that's tight. Wow. Okay, neighbors, it's very tight. There we go. Sometimes you just got to rip it off like a Band-Aid. Hold everything real tight. You're drilling everything. This is meant for an impact, but it's working well with my Milwaukee. And I don't have to worry about excessive torque. It works great with the impact too. Oh, wow. There is that my 028 gasket? Should I throw that down there? Even though I've got a brand new one. So Rob Weaver's 028. But they made tons of parts obsolete on us. I need to get a reminder to self whilst I edit this video. I need to get the damn 211 primer bulb ordered. Haven't done that yet. Sorry, neighbor. Uh, damn it, I can't even think of your name right now with the 211. Sorry I did you dirty. Haven't ordered your primer bulb yet. It was my day off. Your saw ain't been here that long. I did tell you it could be up to four weeks, but I'll try to get to your chip just very as soon as possible. Okay, let's see. I have uh, the broken fins over here. And Ost wonders. I told him this is going to need a lot of work, but uh, I can see a little bit underneath to his exhaust port there, and it doesn't look terrible, honestly. I can't see a ton. I don't have the laptop out here, and I, I frankly, I'm not going to go get it uh, because I just want to open his saw up all the way and uh, clean everything and go through everything and make sure if we can get it running right that it's that it's good to go. Damn. Ugh. Um, so that they, they have no frets and they can use this saw and not worry about it uh, blowing up on them because of hard carbon deposits breaking loose or some chip. So, okay, it appears the chain break was engaged. Uh, the chain is a micro. It looks okay. I don't, the unfortunate thing is, I don't even think I have a file for a micro quarter inch. I know I don't have my grinder blade anymore. I had one, but I gave it away uh, to some boys that started a tree service. I know the sprocket needs replaced. Uh, it's not in good condition. Okay. I don't need these paper towels here anymore. That was working on neighbor Matthew's Echo CS590. I hope he comes over today. I hope he contacts me. Okay, let's see if this clutch will pop easily with a three-quarter impact. I've got the attachment on here. I said I want to keep all my bolts together. So let's put all this with our recoil. Okay. All right, let's see here. I had a three-quarter socket. Here's a 19. That should work. Okay. I don't know if it'll come loose or not. Oh, shoot. That's a half inch. Okay. I had me a three-quarter deep socket here. There it is. Why aren't you neighbors tell me it was over here? Damn it. You guys did me dirty. That was rude. You should tell me when you see my tools that I'm looking for instead of being quiet snickering at me. Okay. Excellent. It did come off. Did get our clutch pretty easily. I'm happy about that. Okay. Good to see. That's why I like going through chip. Fire that chip up with all that chip right there, neighbors. And then this saw would have died. Okay. That's why you have to check all the chip. Preventative maintenance. That's garbage. When in doubt, throw it out. All right. This is our worm gear. And I think it probably has a seal um, incorporated with it. The saw is too damn dirty for me to see. What the hell's going on with our oil pump? I can't see our oil pump set up. Again, I don't know this saw. So it's really, I know how to do saws in small engines like this. And so it's really 
you have to figure out how shit gets assembled. And now I have my video of me disassembling it. If I struggle reassembling it, even if that means I have to scrap footage. Okay, so right now I can't just easily grab this worm gear. It doesn't seem to want to just slide out like I had thought it might. Okay, so we'll just keep disassembling for now. Um, I want to get to the top end. Take our flywheel off. Okay. With our uh, 13 mil. Should be a half inch or 13 mil. 13 mil fits fine. Okay. We'll just loosen our nut. Okay, first. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that piece is. I'm, it's like a reinforcement of some type. Okay. Do you see this, neighbors? I have to pay attention right here where this is at. Okay. These are the only two straight fins. It's the only place it can go. But just in case, I don't recollect that. Y'all neighbors seen it. Don't let me forget. Okay. Y'all do, do me right and help me remember chip. Okay, neighbors? All right. So, I'm just going to grab this. And I'm going to hit my nut. Oh, do you know, I should get my springs out of the way first, okay? Let's get a Q-tips. Uh, and you can use the Q-tips, essentially, to stuff under these things. And it will hold them, okay, out of the way. Well, hill. I know there's a way you can just stuff the Q-tips to hold this shit. I've done it before. Out of the way. Okay. This one's a little bit different. I guess it's doing me dirty. There we go. Ah. Damn. There we go. Okay. I'm just trying to hold the springs out of the way so I don't hit them with my hammer. That's all. That's all I'm trying to do, neighbors. That's it, literally. Okay, flywheel pop, one tap. Good, good, good. Good and good. All right. Put that on. I want to get down to, I, I do see the piston. I don't recollect, I know this thing was going to take a lot of money to get right, but I don't recollect. Um, we have missing fins, so clearly the saw has been running hot, very hot. Uh, I wanted to get them a top end for this, but I haven't been able to find a good, decent one. Maybe I should get them a Chinese one instead of those broken fins. Uh, either way, uh, I have said we're going to use the funds from neighbor Andy paying for me to fix his 288. Uh, I've donated the $400 um, from that job, even though half of the parts I paid paid for out of pocket, and then he just paid for his bill. Uh, we've donated that money to a fund to help people that can't afford to pay to fix their chip. I'm just looking at this. I, I'm really trying to decide... I cannot recollect, uh, again, even if I vacuum pressure tested this damn thing, and I think that's where we need to go. I know we need to harvest, or not harvest, we need to uh, remove our carburetor. Um, I'm just trying to look. The saw is top handles are always funky, and you have to be careful um, to ensure you see how things go, because they can be hard. Okay, so there's our broken line there, primer bulb line. Um, our other line is brittle and broken. So, let's see here, neighbors. I need to get the carburetor off, but I don't see how it comes off, if I'm being honest. Pop our choke lever out. I've removed the bolts. I don't see any other grommets. I see the throttle back there. Which looks like it just pops right out if we get our carburetor loose. The challenge is what I don't see, neighbors. I wish one of y'all could tell me. But you haven't seen this yet. Well, maybe it's just force. It just needed to be convinced. That's all. There's our carburetor. We're going to rebuild that. 
we're going to vacuum pressure test this. I'm looking at the impulse hose. It looks okay. Uh, intake boot looks okay. I can't really see the uh, intake side of the piston here. Because it's a top handle. Cool little design. If I'm being honest. It actually kind of feels good. The saw itself. It's just that is a problem. So what I think we'll do is we'll vacuum pressure test it. I think we should replace the crankshaft seals, but I don't know. Um, I need to I need to see what kind of condition everything else is in. There's the worm gear. There it finally came out. It feels loose on there. Our oil pump looks good. Uh, the crankshaft seal down there kind of looks good. That's the thing. I don't want to I don't want to replace them if we don't need to. I just want to make sure everything is good with their saw. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to take the top end off now either. Honestly, neighbors, I don't know yet. I want to test it. I want to vacuum pressure test it. We're not going to do that right now. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to vacuum pressure test his saw. If it passes, I'm going to rebuild his carburetor, replace the fuel lines, clean the hill out of it because uh, it needs cleaned bad. You see that? We'll clean the hill out of it. Okay. Um, all the parts that are already off, put through the ultrasonic bath. Surprisingly, I think his primer bulb is good. There's a bolt missing from our top handle, probably in there. I know the muffler was semi-crushed, um, but still very usable. We had decided this was all broken. We had talked about a new case, a new outer case to protect everything else. But I'm like, then you just need a new saw because your fins are all broken. If you're going to replace your case, why would you put a new case around a burn up motor and so sent or a broken up motor and so essentially it was can we just get it running and working right and lasting us so it can work on our farm and i said sure neighbor um i said but i want to try and redeem it all the way if we can okay um we'll do the best we can but redeem it in an aspect that means we're still going to keep everything that is good and if if we had found a good donor saw we were going to use parts off of it um, but unfortunately, I have not found a good donor saw. So essentially, neighbors, um, we'll get him a sprocket and a bearing and everything else he needs if if uh, his saw will run right. We don't need any of that stuff on to see if the saw runs. So again, I'll rebuild the carburetor, replace the fuel lines after I vacuum pressure test it. If it, va if it passes vac pressure test, uh, we'll do all that other work. Um, and see if we can get a saw running and going again for him good and get him new parts. I mean, the saws were just abused, honestly. They were abused. That's the bottom line. Carrie, your daddy, your stepdaddy, whoever was running the chip, they abused the hell out of all these saws. Somebody probably straight gassed them all. That's why they were all burnt up. But either way, neighbors, that's going to be it. Until next time, be kind to one another. Everyone's facing a battle. I love all 8 billion of you, damn it. Let's see what the hell happens with this. Let's keep persevering, neighbors.